Well, howdy doody. It's Colin Daniel here from RiffNinja.com. How y'all doing? Uh, today I'm in the mood to answer questions. And uh, this is from some of my students and it's going to benefit all of you. And this one's from Mark. It's about a thing called turnarounds. What is their purpose and how uh, do they relate to the key? Well, all the turnaround is, you know, you're driving down the road somewhere and your wife's next to you and she's reading a map and you can't read maps. And as a typical guy, you don't ask for instructions. You just figure you know where you're going. And the wife says to you, you're going in the wrong direction. We got to turn around and you make an abrupt view in the middle of the road. That's for a car to turn around. On the guitar or in music, a turnaround is, brings us back to the start of a progression. And it's very, very much used in blues. It's very prominent. And that's what I'm going to cover today. I'm going to uh, answer part of Mark's question today about that. Um, and here's the deal. There's, there's a whole bunch of reasons, and I actually go into uh, bigger detail with that uh, at, in, on my Riff Ninja site, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, to get you started on it, this is the most common one, the one you heard at the very beginning where I went. You know, if you're in a 12 bar. times have you heard that right well those three little notes and they're, and they're applied in a lot of different ways there's a lot of different examples to it one of the most common things is in a 12 bar you have this one four and five going on you and let's say in the example of the key I picked here a D and E right so we have an A you know we have a, a D and an E change that's one four and five now, there's the most common, and this is a, a misdemeanor and a mistake too, but the most common uh, passing note is the chromatic pass note between the four and five, right? So if we're in a minor scale or a pentatonic minor even, this is one, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is seven, and this is eight. Or if you're in the full diatonic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, then this is the four to five here. This is one, this is four, this is five, right? Out of your scale. And we use a passing note to get from the four to the five. Now that passing note is not a favorite harmony. It's actually known as the devil's note or the blues note. Some people call it the blues note. Some people call it the devil's note. Some people call it the flatted fifth. It's really just a chromatic passing note. Um, when you use it as a flatted fifth, you'd use it more like this. You know, or... But we're using it just as a chromatic passing note. And what we do uh, when we do that is by going from the uh, four to the five with the chromatic passing note, what it does is pushes you to the five, and now it's like, okay, now what? Well, as soon as you play that root, the root that we started on, it kind of closes. It's almost automatic, right? The five is a good chord that way because of the character of where it is in the scale, the five makes you want to go back to the one to resolve, right? And that's all they're trying to do here is bring you back to the starting note, you know? And if we're in 12 bar, it's in, in A, then A is four bars. It's like four bars of A. You know, the two bars of the D, that's the four chord. Back to the two bars of the A, right? One bar of E, one bar of D, one bar of A. Turn around. Start again. So as soon as you hit that, and if you just went, and there are other ways to do the turnarounds, of course, but the chromatic one is definitely the most popular. Mm -hmm. 
It's like in the song Tush. There they used full chords, but it's still the same. It's still the same theory. Now we're in the key of G with the chromatic pass note between the four and five. Just like that. It's even used to bring up, to bring the ending in too. So the turnaround forces you to go back to the beginning um, of a progression. Uh, one of Chuck Berry's favorite things was not to play the uh, traditional blues chromatic pass note. Just play the five and stress that so in the last four bars of a 12 bar, one, two, you know, it's the one bar of E, the one bar of D, one bar of A, and then right back up to the E. He doesn't go from the D to the E, just goes up to the E. But it still makes it feel like you need to end it somewhere. You know, so that's another little trick. Just going up to the five change happens a lot. Um, even in country music, you'll get that, where you know the, it's like they're playing G, C, and D. You know, you go G, C, and D for forever, whatever uh, pattern you're going to play. I stress that five chord, the D, because it's the five chord, and then you hit the tonic chord, it wants to push you back. So th that's a little hint to the turnarounds. If you were uh, way more serious about this and you wanted a deeper lesson, I do have a free uh, three-day membership that you could check out on my Riff Ninja site, and I actually do, uh, uh, do go into this in much uh, deeper and in a much deeper uh, detail and way uh, so yeah don't forget to su subscribe here and uh, definitely check out my site uh, for some more answers this is the tip of the iceberg to uh, uh, turnarounds and I and I am going to do a couple of more uh, lessons on turnarounds too and I know that uh, I will refer them uh, to you uh, as I get to them anyways uh, good luck everybody mark too uh, this is Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com. Over and out.